Hello food lovers! Today we're gonna to make a very creamy coconut ice cream and you actually only need very little ingredients for this. But what makes it the real deal is the fresh coconut. And when you buy your coconuts, shake them a little bit to see if they're full with coconut water. I'm gonna make this coconut ice cream with sweet condensed milk, but if you want it completely vegan, you can use sugar from the coconut flour. And the sugar of the coconut flour is not just a sweetener, it also has a very delicious flavor to it. A third ingredient is a little pinch of salt. You can do this recipe with or without an ice cream maker. We're going to use a bowl to collect all the water from the coconut and we're going to use the back side of the knife and just hit it in the middle. All around. There you go. And look at all that water in there. Now I'm going to use a knife that's very supple, one that bends a little bit. So I'm going to cut everything into little bits. Just break it all into little bits. Now we're just going to add a little glass of water and now we're just going to ground our coconut. Now we're going to need something to strain the coconut milk. I'm using a hot bag, but you can use a, a metallic strainer or a plastic strainer, whatever you like. And you just want to do this with small amounts. So you can really squeeze it out. You really want to get the most of it out of there. If you get a garden, you can use the rest. It's a very good nutrition for the soil. Or if you press it really well, you can dry it and ground it to coconut flour. We're going to put this in some containers. And we're going to put this in our fridge for two hours. And that's where all the fats and the cream are going to float on the top. So as you can see, all the cream is floating on the top now and we're going to continue making our ice cream. We're going to get all that cream off. Wow. So you can add a little bit of coconut water with it. The coconut water is very nice as well, so don't throw it away. Now we're going to add our sweet condensed milk. And then we're going to give it a good whisk. Let's have a little taste. Mm, perfect. Now from this point, if you don't have an ice cream maker, put your ice cream preparation back in the container, put it in the freezer for half an hour, take it out and give it a good whisk, maybe a minute or two, put it back in another half an hour, same thing, a good whisk, and back in the freezer again for another half an hour. So this can go on from three to five times, depending the quantity of ice you got, and maybe when you get to the third or fourth time, you may need a spoon because it's getting too thick to whisk it. So I'm going to fill up my ice cream maker. And I forgot to add my little pinch of salt. I'm going to put the lid on. And it's a go for 30 minutes. Mm. 
really want to get this out very quickly. Wow, look at that. This is all very, very creamy. This is in the freezer for an hour and you're ready to taste that beautiful creamy ice cream. So we're going to take it to the test. Mmm, that is so creamy. That is delicious. So this was really worth doing it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell. It's a great motivation for me. And as this story ends, my dear friends, all that's left to say, bon appetit and see you back soon.